This message is called the final warning, because everything is coming to an end, my heart is so heavy, the Lord is faithful and is righteous in his decision, on the 7th of November of last year the Lord through his instrument told me that he had something to show me, and in the evening of that day the Lord himself told me to lie down for he want to give me a dispensation, I did as instructed by the Lord, and when the Lord appear, he told me this is your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross of Calvary 2000 years ago, daughter, the evil that is coming to this world is unprecedented, it is so wicked that men have never seen it before, at that moment I saw our Saviour Jesus Christ weeping for what is coming to this world and the people of the world that are ignoring his warning, I have seen him cry before, but this time round my whole structure was shaken because of the gravity of these things. The Lord was weeping because mankind has forsaken him and chose another way, he decided to take the pain of this world on his body when he came to die on the cross for humanity, but men has chosen their own way making his death on the cross a waste, as if he died in vain, brethren, you don't often see a man crying, but seeing the King of King and Lord of Lord cry make your heart break, this is because man have rejected him, Hebrew 10 26 for if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries, we are hurting him days and night with our choice, because of that the day of wrath is fast approaching against humanity, then the Lord showed me a huge storm so big that it will cover the whole planet earth, for it was massive and so dark and so heavy, then I saw that the law had a scroll on his hand, it was indeed a very heavy scroll not easy to carry, the Lord made me understand that it was the same scroll spoken in Revelation 5 by the Apostle John, then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals, the scroll contained Jacob trouble, the impending judgment man tribulation that is coming to this world, right from the beginning this scroll was written, but the pages of Jacob trouble is about to be opened, and the Lord said there is no more time, man is craving darkness and because of that I will hand them to their craving of darkness that they are craving for, then the Lord made me see power and forces of darkness covering the whole earth, these dark forces that are hoovering above the earth seems to be eager and keen to act on this planet, but they are still restrained and are not really free to do what they want, at this moment the restrainer is not allowing them to have total domination over the earth, but very soon the restrainer will be taken away. These dark forces are full of rage and they seems impatient to show up and cause chaos in the world, and the Lord by his grace took me once again to his judgment throne, in 2015 he revealed to me what was going to happen on that day of the white throne judgment, and said this is not even a fraction of what will happen on that day, when we arrive before the white throne, I saw that it was already well set the white throne and the place of judgment look so holy, but this time around I noticed something else beside the throne, that I did not see previously, actually there was a bowl beside the throne, and this bowl contained the tears of the Lord Jesus Christ, every tear that he had shed for humanity will be paid by whoever rejected his work of the cross and those who fail to live keeping his word will pay for that, humanity will give an account for the tears that the Lord had shed for man, on the day of judgment this tear of the Lord will turn to flames of fire, and those who treaded on the work of the cross would be swept toward the lake of fire, there were a long queue, even though I was not at the front of the queue I still heard a cry coming from the front, saying Lord have mercy on me, please Lord have mercy, the Lord said, so why did you steal from me, she said Lord I did not mean to be unfaithful with tithe, I did everything you ask me to do. I serve you well and I did your work, but the Lord said why then were you unfaithful to me in tithing, why did you steal from me, beloved, just one sad thing disqualified the lady, the Lord who know the end from the beginning has given us opportunity to repent, otherwise we will face the final judgment, I saw the tears of the Lord from the bowl beside the throne turning into fire and consuming the lady, and you could not even identify her skeletal structure as she was swept to lake of fire and silver, brethren are we robbing the Lord, are we paying our tithe faithfully, if we do not repent from stealing the Lord this is the faith waiting for us, God forbid.
It is written in Malachi 3 verse 8 to 10, Will a mere mortal rob God? Yet you rob me, but you ask, How are we robbing you? In tithes and offerings, you are under a curse your whole nation because you are robbing me. Then I heard another woman at front weeping before the throne of the Lord, who was sitting on the throne and at the same time standing beside me, because he is omnipresent, and he was explaining to the woman's story, this lady that wept before the throne was living with a girl that she was raising, but since the girl was not her biological daughter, she treated her differently, the Lord explained that he wanted to use this lady as an instrument in order to save the girl but the lady subjected the girl to all sort of unfair treatment and abuse, because of this abusive treatment the Lord could not bring salvation to that girl, as a result, on the last day of judgment the lady who misbehaved and the girl who was supposed to be saved by the Lord ended up facing the white throne judgment, the Lord told me, when this lady was starving the girl and mistreated her she did not know that she was doing that to me. Every abusive word and unfair treatment the girl suffer I was also suffering, for whatever she did to that girl she did it to me. The Bible say the king will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels, for I was hungry and you gave me nothing to eat, I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink, I was a stranger and you did not invite me in, I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me, they also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me, brethren how great was the weeping of this woman, I was also weeping seeing the torment ahead, the Lord said, Daughter, do not weep yet, you have not yet seen anything beloved just as they are things beyond imagination in the celestial world so they are torment man cannot imagine, then another man appeared before the throne of the Lord, the Lord asked him, who told you that you were a pastor, the Lord asked the man why, he act again, why, my holy scripture was with you, but you continue to feed my sheep with lies and lies, why did you do that why, despite the pure word I gave you you preach lies to the sheep, brother when we alter the word of God in order to gain material good we will face judgment, for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine, instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their riching ears want to hear. Even from your own number men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. I saw the tears of the Lord that was turned into fire and came like a wave that swept the man towards eternal damnation, when the next man stepped toward the throne, the Lord asked him, who called you to be a pastor, I have not told you to become a pastor, I have called you to be a deacon serving under my feet, you never asked what was your calling, yet someone was supposed to be saved by looking at your humble lifestyle of service as a deacon, and through that person I was supposed to win many souls but you have become a pastor and businessman even if I never called you to become a minister, finally the Lord said to him, depart, he was transported to the lake of fire by the tears of the Lord, today many are serving God according to their own initiative, they never asked God view and opinion, we must be where the Lord has placed us, judgment will begin in the house of God, it is written in 1 Corinthians 7 verse 17 nevertheless, each person should live as a believer in whatever situation the Lord has assigned to them, just as God has called them, this is the rule I laid down in all the churches, 